Yeah, the experiment is uh, transverse vibration. So here the loading happens perpendicular to the axis of the shaft and uh, once the load is pulled and uh, released it causes vibration. So this is the experimental setup uh, and this silver this silver color beam that you can see is the shaft. Uh, the loading is done on this plate. So first thing what we do is we place some load and then tighten this after which we vibrate this like this and we let it vibrate. So for 10 such vibrations we uh, find out what is the time taken and in this tableau column we uh, enter the mass first then time for 10 oscillations. This reading is taken for 3, 4, 5 and 6 kgs and then the time, uh, the time period for this experiment. The experimental time period is time taken for 10 oscillations divided by 10. F experimental is 1 by time uh, T experiment. Then for finding the theoretical uh, frequency, we use Dunkerley's formula. So first we have to find out the deflection for, uh, due to point loading and due to uh, UDL. So for point loading this is the formula and for UDL this is the formula. Then we find out the frequency due to point load and frequency due to UDL. And then we use this equation and Dunkerley's where we equation. substitute Fn1 and Fns and then find out Fn. So Fn becomes a theoretical frequency. 1 by Fn will give you the theoretical frequency. And this is the theoretical, uh, time, period. theoretical time period. And this is the uh, specification for this experiment. So here W is nothing but load of the beam per meter because we want a, we want a UDL. Load in intensity.